Oh my, look at this one. Okay. So let's, let's figure this out, right? There is um, a force here uh, at the hinge, right? So we'll call this the wall in the Y direction. And then check this out. Let's, let's just draw a little picture here, right? Here's the tension along this cable. Okay. And that's going to have a component that's this way. And a component that's this way. There's just no denying that, right? And this side right here is, if this is T, and then let's see, 48 degrees with the beam. So is this 48 degrees? Yeah. Okay, if that's T, then this little guy right here, that's T uh, cos 48. And then this guy right here is T sine 48. Okay, that's because this is the angle. That's the opposite side. Here's the adjacent side. We're doing Sokotoa here, right? All right, that's an 8. Notice that this guy is in the positive x direction. Well, if, if this component's in the positive x, then actually the wall is going to exert a force this way. Okay, in the negative x direction. Why? Well, because the cable is pulling it this way, the hinge has to pull it this way, because this thing has to be in the stably in the x direction, right? It has to be in equilibrium. So there's one force, right? And then this is where, let's see, the cable is connected 1.5 from the left side. It's a 2 meter long beam. Okay, so this is 1.5 meters, right? Is this distance here. Okay, so that means that this, if the beam is two meters long, that the force of gravity is acting right here. We've got seven G at one meter, right? Is acting right there. Then we've got three G at, and then the beam is two meters long, so it's at two meters, right? And then we've got this tension here at 1.5 meters. All right, and then this guy is right, these, these are right at the hinge. Okay, so let's set this up. Let's set up our X expression. Okay, I'm going to say negative whatever the wall is in the X direction. Okay, um, plus T uh, cos 48. Equals zero. Now understand, by the way, if we get a positive number for x, it means it's to the left. Okay? So if we get a positive number for that, it'll be to the left. And of course we will, because how could we not, right? All right, there we go. So we do just basically figure out the direction of that by just reasoning this out. If the cable's pulling in that direction, it has to pull to the right and it has to pull up. In order for it to be in equilibrium, something else has to pull to the left, and that would be the hinge. It's the only thing here that could exert a force to the right or the left. Okay, and then let's set up our y direction. Okay, so we got wall, the wall in the y direction, and then we've got minus seven times 9.8. So all these g's, by the way, are 9.8s, 9.81s, right? G is 9.81. I'm just trying to make it look nice. Okay, so wall y minus seven g, right? Okay, and then plus t sine 48. That's this component right here. Oh, whoops. That's the y direction. All right, and this guy is in the x direction. All right. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay, so this guy, this component right there is in the y direction. And then let's see. Let's go. Uh, oh, we got three. So we'll go minus three times g, right? So left to right, the wall, the, the force of gravity, this component right there. Okay, is right there, is up, and then we've got 3, uh, g is down, and then that has to equal 0. And again, we can't solve that because we don't know this or this, but our torque expression will be solvable for tension, so let's set that up, right? So torque about the left side, sounds like a political front. Okay, so if we torque about the left side, the wall is exerting a force right at the torque point, so it the, those variables fall out, both x and y, right? Okay. 
Now this guy is going to torque positively or clockwise, so plus 1.0 times 7g, right? It's 1 because it's at 1 meters, right? And it's positive because it's going to torque that beam clockwise, right? The next one we run into left to right is this guy here, right? So plus, or minus, sorry, minus 1.5 times t sine theta, because we have to use this part right here, the component perpendicular to it is the one that exerts torque. You could also, by the way, use the formula what uh, torque is rf sine theta. Right, that, you get the sine theta either way, right? Okay, so let's see. This guy's negative because it's anti-clockwise, right? And then this guy will be again clockwise. Okay, so plus, uh, how far out? That's 2. 2.0 times 3g is 0. Okay, now let's just go through this, you know, and, and uh, how about uh, we got blue. How about we use uh, green? All right, so this guy is to the left. This is to the right. So in a, in a force problem, that's what that gives you the minus and the plus, okay? This one is positive, right? Because it's up, down. Remember variables, that always represents a guess. So if we're wrong, it'll be the other way, right? Okay. Uh, and that could be, this. the wall could actually be exerting a downward force, right? Uh, and then this term is positive because it's up. And this one's negative because it's down. Okay, this is clockwise. Okay, the weight of the beam will tend to rotate the beam the way a clock goes. This is anti-clockwise. And then this guy is clockwise. The weight of this guy will tend to rotate the beam clockwise. All right, so now all we have to do is just solve here. So let's solve this. Let's use the red pen of solving. Okay, hmm. this one is solvable for T, so I'm gonna go 1 times 7 times 9.81 plus 2 times 3 times 9.81. And now I'm going to divide by 1.5 and divide by sine of what's the angle? 48. All right. So divide. I'm going to check my mode. I am in degrees. All right. So divide by sine of 48. That's 114.4, this is good. Okay, so my tension is 114.4, right? So I would say that it's about 114 newtons. Tension is always in the direction of the cable, so you don't need to say up, right, down, left, whatever, right? Okay, so now let's plug into this guy, right? If I plug into this, I get um, opposite of wall in the x direction, um, plus 114.406 times cos 48 is 0. So now I'm going to solve for the wall in the x direction. So times cos 48, 76.55. So I'll say 76.6. Newtons and it's to the left because the cable is pulling us to the right, the wall has to be to the left. Don't miss that. That's sad if you miss that. All right. Okay, now let's plug into this. So wall and the y minus 7g plus, and then I'm going to plug the number in 114.406 times uh, sine. 48 minus 3g. All these g's are 9.81s when I type them into the calculator. Okay, so here we go. So what do we do? Okay, I know what to do. Okay, I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to go the opposite of that guy. Whoops. The opposite of that guy times the sine of 48. Okay, and then I'm going to go plus. 7 times 9.81 plus 3 times 9.81. Get 13.08. So 
So wall in the y direction. 0, 8. Oh, that's awesome. 0, 8 newtons, or the wall in the y direction is, and since it's positive, it's up, okay? 13.1 newtons up. Now, the y direction you can always rely. If you make your variable positive and it ends up negative, it's down, and if it's positive, it's up. With the wall in the x direction, you got to look at the picture. If the thing's pulling it to the right, okay, then your force is to the left. Uh, that's the easiest way, I think, to figure out which way they are. Uh, anyway, happy hunting. I hope that helps. Uh, be careful out there. It's a crazy world.